Hello everyone! Welcome to Tea Time Wednesday. Coming at you a little bit earlier today. Um, I don't know, playing around with times and things like that. Working around my schedule and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to give you all a few minutes to hop on. You know the drill. Come on, say hello, say hi, say you can hear me. Give me all the thumbs up and the highs and all that good stuff so that I know that we are good. Ivan, hello. Christine, good. Just give me thumbs up and let me please know that we are good, that you can hear me. Because sometimes in groups and stuff, you can't be heard. Hi, Anita. And also let me know if this is a better time. Again, I'm playing around with times. My schedule has kind of changed. Other things have come up. There's so many things that are moving and shaking and changing lately. So I'm trying to find like that sweet spot for time and day and all that good stuff. And it's always a good time for tea, so it really doesn't matter. Great topic. Yes, I know. I'm excited. I'm excited to talk about it. I have been... I'm going to share, I shared it last week, the book that I'm reading um, with all of you, and I've just been devouring it and letting it really soak in and reading chapters over and over again and highlighting and taking notes and doing all that stuff so that I can bring it all to you guys and get some, some of this good stuff out there, some good energy so that everyone can walk out into the world and just live from this really good, healthy place so that we can grow as a consciousness and we can change. We can change the world as it is because it's up to us. So good. I'm glad that everyone is hopping on. A lot of you watch on replay, um, which is great, but it's always great to have you guys on live. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes. So I want to ask you guys that are on right now, like what what is God to you? Like, what do you believe in? What is what is sort of your definition of, of God and source and, and energy and, and spirit? And, and really this name, you know, that's all it is, is a name that we give this sort of whatever it is that's unseen that has power over how our lives are unfolding and how we feel. I want to know what God is to you. I want to know what source energy is to you. I want to know what spirit energy is. It. What does that represent for you? What does that mean in your life? How does it affect you? How does it move you forward? What is it that you feel when you think of it or you feel it or you experience it? Because it's different for everyone. Um, on, a, on a core level, it's different, but at the end of the day, we're all, if we're connected to it, we're all experiencing love and joy and happiness and, and peace when we're connecting with it. So I want to know for you, what is God? What is source? What is energy? What is spirit? What, what does that mean to you, right? And it's not religion, and it's not picking and choosing what we're believing in, and it's not any sort of thing like that. It's, it's truly just that, that ever-essent presence that is around us at all times, Present within us all. Yes, Anita. Yes, that's going to be huge about what I'm going to talk about. And I'm actually on 63%. And if I plug it in, it's like hard for people to hear me. So this one's going to be a little shorter. So I'm going to try to get like, boom, right to the point before I lose you guys. But I think we should be good. But yes, yes, it, it's that it's that thing within us all, right? It has nothing to do with what type of religion we're believing in. It, it's truly just we're talking about that that energy, that thing that's inside every single one of us. Because if we are here and we are in this human body awake and alive, then we all are experiencing and all having that connection, whether we feel it right now or we don't. We are walking pieces of God, right? And I'm going to refer to God and source and all that as, as really the same thing. It doesn't matter what it is. So we're, we are walking gods, right? We, we have that inside of us. Just as we carry the DNA and, and everything from our parents and our ancestors and everyone that has come before us, we carry that of God. And when we remember that and when we come back to that and when we connect to that, our lives start to really change and our peace starts to come and there's less fear and there's less anxiety and there's less anger and, and there's more kindness and there's more acceptance and there's more love and it's just different. When you're experiencing that one-on-one -on -one connection, it's very different. 
I personally don't go to church. I haven't been to church in a very, very long time, but my church is wherever I decide it is. I connect with God on a one-on-one -on -one basis. That doesn't knock church, that doesn't knock religion, that doesn't knock belief. I just have a better experience when I am meditating and I'm connecting one-on-one. -on -one. So for me, that's where a lot of what I even share with you guys that starts to unfold and unravel is is that connection right it's, it's, there's no one in between that there's no there's no middleman it's it's me and spirit and that's it one on one so anita regardless of religion source is what we can all be part of and relate to that's it that's it that's what i'm trying to say love it missy hello so we're talking god we're talking ego we're talking spirit we're talking about this this i don't want to say this Fight because I don't think it's a fight. I think it's just really more of an awareness. Um, we talk about ego. We talk about who we've become over time based on everyone around us, right? What people have taught us, what we have seen, what we have learned, what we have heard, what we have been taught. You know, we come into this world as babies and there isn't any separation. There isn't you and me sort of Everything is one and, and there's love and there's joy and there's peace and there's happiness and, and you're not judging and you're not fearful of how you look and you're just your complete self and you giggle and you laugh and yes, you cry and yes, you are got all that baby stuff, but you, you truly come in as this pure everessence being that doesn't really have any judgments of anything, that isn't comparing all the time, that isn't, you know, angry all the time and mad and thinking about the past or thinking about the future, right? You're just here, you're, you're present. If you, can, if you can really go into deep meditations of like your inner child and, and, and how you were growing up, you can remember that, that there wasn't fear. There wasn't like thinking about the future or, or reliving the past. Like you were just in that moment, you know? You, you didn't look at other kids and say, oh, you know, oh, you know, what? she's prettier than me or he's pretty or he's more handsome than me or he has more than me or he doesn't like you did you, you didn't start to do that till like five or six when you started to learn those things you started to learn judgment of others you started to learn comparison you started to learn a separation right you were hearing these things from parents you were hearing these things from school right everything was a competition and so it, it created the separation and it also created this ego inside of you where where it's me and it's you and it's me and it's the world and there there's these judgments and these ideas and then we started to to have these inner conversations and these inner talks about what our lives were like, how we felt about ourselves when we looked in the mirror, our status quo. And as we got older, these things expanded and they grow, grew. And so this ego part of us, and Dr. Wayne Dyer calls it your, your edging God out, is that. It's, it's that separation. It's a lot of judgment. It's a lot of anger. It's a lot of resentment. It's a lot of thinking about the past, thinking about the future. It's, it's a lot of anxiety. It's a lot of worry. And it's it's a disconnect from source. It's a disconnect from God because you're thinking that you're on your own. You're thinking that it's just about you. You're thinking that that there's a competition in the world, right? Ego is not just as we've all heard it as like, oh, he has a big ego. Like he thinks he's better than everybody or she thinks she's better. Ego is, is the self that we've created, this identity for ourselves that we have created that looks at everything from perspectives of assumptions and, and um, a very, you know, the four agreements, which I've mentioned before, is really good at, at sort of honing in on this, right? And, and sort of teaching us that we all have this sort of different perspective. And, and from that perspective, it's really from an ego perspective, everything's about us and, and how we see things and how we've been offended and how we've been hurt. And so it's a very me, 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 me kind of mentality. Whereas source and God and spirit is, is the complete opposite, right? There isn't any separation, right? What I feel for you is what I feel for myself. There is God in me. There is God in you. And so source is, is more of a, a peaceful mindset. It's calm. It's trust. It's, it's being in the now. It's being present. It's being here. It's not seeing that separation. It, it's having kindness. It's having joy. It's looking for abundance and gratitude and everything because this light, this God, the spirit, the source is just pure happy 
loving, good energy, right? It, it's it. There's nothing evil in it. There's nothing fearful in it. There's nothing worrisome because there is complete peace at that level of God and source, right? So you know that you're an ego and you know that you're, you're disconnected from God and, and from source when you have anxiety, when you're worried, when you're thinking too much of the past or the present, when you're having feelings of anger or resentment or you're feeling this kind of offendedness that you know someone did something to you you know when you're gossiping when you're you're in a place of just negativity and lack and not feeling like things are enough and not feeling like you're getting ahead and and self self sabotage and beating yourself up that's all ego stuff because when you're in light and when you're in source and when you're in god you're not going to be doing those things and you're not going to be feeling those things right you're going to be in a very good place so even when there is someone that comes at you with something that's offended offending you even when there is something that gets you angry even when there is something that gives you anxiety or worry if you're turning to god if you're turning to source if you're turning to spirit if you're if you're going within and you're truly truly remembering who you are before you became this identity of ego then those things they kind of just they just kind of go off your back, right? If somebody cuts you off on the highway and you're like, oh, right, we all have that initial thing. But if we can catch that and realize like maybe they're in a rush, maybe they've been late to work before and they're about to lose their job. Yeah, maybe they're a complete asshole. Who knows? But you're, you can't carry that with you the whole way to work, right? You can't get to work and say, this guy that did this to me, right? That Like just a few weeks ago I shared, somebody like wasn't letting me in. That was all ego. I was like, Rich, you are not... You you saw that I'm trying to get in here. I'm going to get in here. And once I got in there, I felt like this pride and I felt this, but I also realized that. And I and I stopped for a second and I realized that I was feeling that, like I won kind of type of thing. And I even posted about it. And then later on, I kind of got to thinking about it and was like, well, I was able to do that because God was like, we're going to do what's right, right? So if it's, if it's from a place of where God is leading you to do something, like she knew that I belonged in front of her and she still tried to do that. So I started to look at it like, all right, well, God help me. He helped her, you know, me not hit her and her not hit me and always is protecting me when I'm driving and getting me home safe. And so I looked at it from a different perspective. But we got to do that all the time, right? We've got to sort of understand that things that are happening around us, you know, we, it's very easy to get upset. It's very easy to get angry. It's very easy to get resentful, to get offended. But if we're living in that light and we're living in that source and we're thinking like God, I have that actually over my camera on my computer. It says, think like God, right? Think like God. When we're in this mindset of how would God react to this, right? We always hear this like, what would Jesus do thing? It's it's the same idea. It's that consciousness of if I was if I were to live as God is living, as God is feeling, as God is thinking, as God is vibrating, as God is, is, in, is coming out into the world, how would I feel about this? How would I think about this? And when you're living like that, you have a lot less worry, you have a lot less anxiety, you have a lot less fear because you trust. And when you're trusting and when you're believing and when you're knowing that every day you are walking with something inside of you that is so powerful that it creates our worlds every day and it makes the flowers grow and the birds sing and the grass and the change and mother nature and all these things that are happening okay when it does that it can do anything for you it can bring you peace it can bring you calmness it can bring you ease okay so when we're thinking about that and we're thinking about ego versus source, that's kind of how I want you to see it. You know, ego is is fear. Ego is living in the past. Ego is a resentment and anger and, and not forgiving and, and taking things personal and being offended by everything and gossiping and, and just everything's about me and everything's about judgment. And God is the complete opposite. God is about love. God is about acceptance. God is about forgiveness. God is about moving on. God is not about resentment and 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 talking about others and, and doing things like that, right? So, and we do, we have so many people in our lives that we see that go to church and praise God and do all this stuff. And then you see how they live and you kind of question sometimes like, well, you, you 
know, you, yeah, you go to church every Sunday, but then Sunday afternoon you're on the phone talking about everybody else and what they're doing and, and, and not living your life in a Christ-like mindset or whatever religion that you follow. You're not, you're not living like that, right? You're going to church, you're checking in, you're checking out, and then you're not following those values throughout your nights. You're not showing love. You're not showing appreciation. You're not showing kindness. You're not showing forgiveness in your life, right? You're, you have a lot of anger. You have a lot of resentment. So if you're in those places, then you're living more out of ego versus your, your source, your, your spirit. And again, it's very easy to forget those things because we're, we're raised and we just, we just hear everybody else's stuff and garbage. And so we forget, we forget, forget where we come from. We forget that we are here as human beings living with a soul, right? This is what I'm, I'm getting at here. So I've been, um, Dr. Wayne Dyer, this is what I've been reading, The Power of Intention. I shared a little bit of it last week. I sprayed for the ants and they're still around, but I won't kill them. <laughs> So it gets really annoying. Um, what was I saying? So um, the power of attention. All right, intention. Um, I've been devouring this book. And he really explains how you can connect with source, how you can become one with source, how you can start living every single day as if you 100% are always, not just sometimes, but always aware that within you is this light, is this love, is this spirit, is this God that you can look at things with kindness and acceptance and love and non-judgment and walk through life. I have here on my wall because I wrote it out, he has, he talks about the seven faces of intention, right? And what it is to walk in that light every single day and how in your life you can apply these things. And so much of this he talks about creativity and kindness and love and beauty and expansion and unlimited abundance and receptivity. And he goes through all of these things. And I highly recommend if this is a topic that, that touches you, that you do get this book. Um, that when you're walking in your life and you're walking with that awareness every day as if you're carrying God with you and, and, and you are, right? But, but knowing that you are, having that awareness that you are, that you are part of God, that you are part of source energy. When you're walking every day like that into world, in, into your job, into your relationships, into everything, you're going to act differently. You're going to show up differently. And when you do that... Things are going to unfold very differently in your life and you're going to have a different experience because you're looking from a different lens. You're looking from the lens of God. You're looking for the lens of spirit. And one of his biggest quotes in here, and he said it in a few of his lectures online, is like, you can either be a hostage to your ego or a host to God, right? You can either be a hostage to your ego or a host to God. And when you think about that, hold on, I'm going to take my shoe shoe down because she's crying to get down all right hey everybody when you think about that right and somebody can write that in the comments because that is definitely something that last week or so ever since i read it that i've been really the book is such a gift yes anita it's it's one that i think i'll always go back to like four agreements it really is one that i will always go back to um you know when you're thinking like that like being a host to god right if 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 god sent me here to to live out his love his joy his kindness his creativity his expansion all of these things that the faces of it intention that they that he talks about and receptivity and and unlimited abundance right when if if we're coming into our day with that mindset of being unlimited, of being powerful, of walking with light, of walking with guidance, of walking with love inside of us, then we show up to everything so much differently and we react differently and we talk differently and we have different things about us and that's contagious, right? That'll be spread to the people that are around us in our in our close relationships, in our far relationships, right? Being being kind to everyone you encounter, going out to, to dinner and being kind to the waiter, even if they're not the best waiter, right? Even if you're not getting the, the, the best service, saying to yourself, I don't know what this person is going through. Maybe they're crappy at their job because they're upset or they had a fight this morning with someone or, or they're struggling financially or, or you know, looking, looking at everything in your life from a place of God, from a place of love, from a place of acceptance. It, it will shift 
everything and it, it will quiet your ego because your ego is going to look for reasons to be offended your ego is going to look for reasons to to judge your right and and he talks about that you know when you see people we automatically have judgments. Oh, you know, she's so pretty. Even even good things, right? Like, oh, she's so pretty. Oh, he's so ugly. Oh, she's so fat. Or right, we automatically have these these judgments that weren't there when we were children, right? We weren't there before our parents and our siblings and our uncles and our aunts and everybody started to like. Da, 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 da. Did you see this one? Did you see that one? Did you see what this one's doing? Did you see it? like that that gossiply ugly ego mentality, right? That comparison. Oh, I'm better than you, and and I have more than you and right before all of that happened when we were kids on the playground we didn't do that we just got on the playground and we're like you're cool I'm cool let's be cool together let's have fun let's swing on the monkey bars okay and have fun right there wasn't this this constant thought back and forth of, of judgment so you know not judging not having that that idea in our minds about people so quickly and, and just sort of sending them out love as if we were God and, and we're all God's children and we're all spirit's children. So if we're doing that more and we're understanding that, then we're, we're going to be less judgmental. We're going to have more kindness. We're going to have more acceptance. And sometimes that's all people are truly, really needing is to maybe when they're being nasty to you, for you to say, just give them a smile and just say have a great day versus being angry at them, right? Being upset. <laughs> Sorry. She digs in the house but not outside. Figure that one out. Um, being upset, right? Not, 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 they're, they're kind of, they're expecting that energy back because maybe that's what the customer before them did or someone else did, right? But if you're kind to them, if you smile at them, if you say have a good day, if you say, you know, no problem and, and you're just, you react differently, you act, react from a place of God, it's going to unfold differently for you, right? That, that life, that thought, that mindset that you have is going to be different. So when you act from God, when you think like God, that's going to start to happen. And this is what's going to happen with your anxiety and your fear and the things, you know, there's a lot of things that we see on the news and on Facebook and, and all these things that, that create anxiety and create fear and create all these things. But if you're walking with God and spirit every day, you're not having that fear. You're not having that anxiety. You're not having that worrisome feeling about things that are going on in your life, right? You're looking at situations that are trial and tribulations and you're looking at them from, a, again, a different perspective. I am here to learn. I am here to grow. I am here to expand. This is a lesson. What am I to learn here? What do I need to improve on, right? We start to look at our experience as a human being on this planet as a reason to grow, as a reason to expand, as a reason to shift, right? We're given contrast. We're given things that we don't like so that we can know what we do like and what we do want. When we know what we don't want, it, it gives us, we can either stay in what we don't want or we can use that as a, as a shift to figure out what it is that we do what we sorry when we have what we don't want we can figure out what we do want so that there's there's when that shift happens and when you look at it like that things get a little bit different right you can start to understand that you're here to grow you can start to understand that you're here to expand and so your reaction to a situation that would otherwise potentially be very negative and worrisome and anxiety filled when you touch base with God, when you touch base with spirit, when you understand that God has put you here to have a, a, a human experience, right? He, that's what Dr. Wayne Dyer is, is saying in many of his lectures and many of his books, right? Is that we're, we're here to have this experience as a soul, right? We're given this body to have this experience and we're a soul in a body. We're not a body with a soul. We're a soul in a body. So it's a very different perspective when things are happening in our lives and there are things that are worrying us that that we can go into meditation we can go into prayer and we can remind ourselves that we're not alone and we can remind ourselves that we chose wherever we are right this was a hard thing to accept for a lot of people like what like I chose this situation I chose my parents I chose you know whatever situation that I'm in how why would I do this how could I do this why would I want to create this drama and stress for myself right and that's ego that's me 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 that's offending that's I should have better that's comparison oh this one didn't have that and look what I'm dealing with right when you're getting into that mindset of comparison and judgment you've already disconnected from God you've already disconnected from spirit but when you look at that and you say you know what I chose this 
purpose. I chose to be here to experience this, to have this experience for a reason, to, to live this life and, and, and to grow and to expand. And why is this happening versus why is this happening to me, right? When there's that shift from why is this happening? What am I here to learn? What, how, can I help, how can I make this a better situation? How can I grow from this? Well, what is the lesson here versus why me? Why me? Why does this happen to me? This doesn't happen to so-and-so, right? Again, boom, you're an ego. So when you have that awareness of that, that shifting from ego to spirit, it's also going to feel different too, right? You're, you're going to have these thoughts that, that feel heavy, that feel energetically very, very largely like they're just pulling you down into the floor and, and feel like victim mode right ego is very victim you know it's happening to me this person did this to me this you know god doesn't love me right it's me 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 but when you're in god consciousness you feel raised and you say i get it i am here this is happening this is going on i'm going through this trouble i'm going through these fears i'm going through this anxiety i'm going through this fear you know all of these things are here but i I'm going to turn to God. I'm going to turn to spirit. I'm going to sit with myself and with God one-on-one, -on -one, mano y mano, and have a prayer and have a conversation and just, you know, ask for guidance and ask for the lesson and ask for the, the confidence to be able to go through things, right? So many times when things are happening, we're like, you know, make this happen for me and make that happen for me. And so we want to, we, we want to play God in that respect where we're like, this has to happen in order for me to feel better instead of giving it away, right? Instead of giving it away to God and saying, you know what, you know, what's best guide me to towards the right thoughts, guide me towards the right decisions, guide me towards the right people, places, things that will help me get closer to peace, guide me towards the things that will help me to have that, that, that calmness when I rest my head on the pillow, right? They're, they're, you can have everything in the world, you can have the cars, you can have the house, you can have the money, you can have everything, but if you can't lie your head on the pillow at night and have peace of mind, you don't have shit, right? So if you're going to bed every night and there's worry and there's anxiety and there's, there's things, talk to God, right? Don't ask for, for, for things to be better. Ask for what you're here to learn. Ask for guidance. Ask for the right decisions. Ask for, for what you can do in your human body to make things better versus just asking for this or that or this or, you know, very specific things. You know, just say, just guide me. Guide me towards the right things and know that, those things, once you're connected, you're going to get inspiration. You're going to get get things that come up and ideas and, and you're going to be pushed and, you know, pushed to, to do things that maybe feel out of your comfort zone and really don't feel like you. And that's where ego, ego doesn't like that either. Ego doesn't like change. It doesn't like being put in different situations. It doesn't like, you know, this is an example, like live for me a year ago was like, Ba, 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 ba. oh man I'm on live holy crap ba, ba, ba. and now it's like psh, I can't wait I'm like live boom here we go I'm here right because I've calmed ego with that I've, I've put myself out there I've, I've allowed myself to come out to you and 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 I haven't worried about what people saw and I don't care what what people think you know and and it, it is what it is if it touch it touches somebody and it helps somebody it helps somebody and if someone else thinks it's stupid or crazy or insane or or whatever it doesn't matter because I'm coming from a god consciousness not ego if I was living in ego I would be worried about what people thought I would be worried about what people say I would be worried about what people think and I really don't give a crap what anybody thinks but myself and God and so when you start doing that too when you start saying you know the only opinion that matters is the opinion that I have of myself and the opinion that God has of me and spirit has of me when those and spirit I got news for you spirit always loves you God always loves you God doesn't judge you right you make a mistake you make an accident you do something wrong you you know you can always start fresh you can always start new that's the beauty of God that's the beauty of spirit is that that there's always love there's always acceptance there's always expansion there's always abundance there's always that right so when we think about God in that respect of all of those positive healthy things we can't fall back into negativity because we're, we're staying in that light. We're staying in that connection. And when we're staying in that connection and when we're there all the time and we're there consistently, we start to wake up and we start to have more energy and we start to feel better and we start to feel light and we start to feel love and we start to feel acceptance. And, and, and that starts to trickle on into everything, into our financial situation, our relationships, our jobs, our, our everything that starts to trickle out into everything in our lives because 
that's how it is right we're all connected we all have this this energy that's between all of us and so the right people and places and things show up you know so many people are in a mindset of lack and like not having enough and not you know being in a place where they feel abundant and yet there is so much abundance like in everything if you have food on the table if you have lights and electricity and water and and able to take a shower and clothes on your back and computers and iPhones and and all these things then you are abundant right if you have people around you if you have a bed to rest your head on at night and covers to cover yourself and a fan because it's a little too warm and and heat because it's a little too cold you are abundant right and that's what God and that's what spirit is it's complete abundance so when you're focused on lack you are an ego you are looking for more and more and more and more and more, right? Too many people. And and listen, there's there's that thin line, right? Because I'm one of those people. I set goals and I'm always like trying to get better and I'm always trying to improve and I, and I always do want more and I always do work towards more and get there. But I do it in a sense of, of serving. I do it in a sense of how can I be the best that I can be for not only myself, but for God, right? If I'm an, if I'm an extension of God, like I want to make him freaking proud. I want to show up in this body and be the best that I can be and be as healthy as possible and share and serve and do as much for others and, and change lives and do all those things, right? So so getting more is good when it's from a God source. But if it's if it's getting more like material things and, and more, oh, I need more. I need new shoes. I need new clothes. I need a new car. I need to upgrade this. I need to upgrade that. Like people have perfectly fine phones. And it's like, oh, the new one came out. I got to get another one. Like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. That's great. But that's an ego sensed based mentality is, oh, this one is working fine for me. Um, but this is the new thing out. So I've got to get that right that that consumerism has gotten into our heads because when, and this is really silly, but when you really look at it, if you're from a God consciousness, this is, this is enough. I have enough. I have what I need. I have the things that make me happy right now. I don't have to keep chasing things to feel better unless those things that I'm chasing to feel better make me feel good, make other people feel good, make make an improvement in, in the overall consciousness, right? There's a difference. There's a difference with that. So if you're living from Christ consciousness, if you're living from God consciousness and spirit consciousness and source consciousness, then then you know that everything you have is, have is enough. You know that you have abundance even if you don't have the thing that you're chasing. You know that even if you're in debt, even if you're you're struggling right now, that that you do have abundance and you don't have lack and that there are other things in your life that are working out that are feeling good and when you're in that place the debt is eventually going to be able to go away but it's not going to go away focused on that right if you're if you're believing in God you're saying you know what I have everything I need thank you thank you this gratitude gratitude is a huge part of that right ego is sometimes not as full of gratitude as it should be it's always again focused on lack and what's not enough and chasing 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 whereas God and source is is about gratitude. It's about really looking at what's going right, what's working, right? What's all of those things that make us feel good and make us feel positive. So be aware of that, right? Whenever you're having your thoughts, is this ego thoughts or is this God, God thoughts, right? Think like God. Like I said, I have that on my computer. I see it every single day. Think like God. Go out into the world and treat people like your God. Go out into the world and treat people like your light, like your energy, like your love, like your acceptance, because you are, right? Underneath all of that hurt, all underneath all of that garbage that you've been through in your life, underneath all of that resentment and anger and and all the things that sometimes you may be feeling towards other people or even towards yourself, underneath all that, underneath all that gook, is this light that is within you. And that light is always going to shine whether it's been covered with gook or not. You just gotta wash it off and you wash it off with meditation and you wash it off with prayer and you wash it off with reading books like this that are gonna truly open up your eyes to what's inside, right? You, you, You have to go within. You have to find that part of you that is no longer controlled by society and parents and and co-workers and and circumstances and things that are happening to you but you've got to take that time you've got to have those moments I woke up this morning and I just the birds were like 
singing this unbelievable song like the the rhythm and everything it's like how many of us really stop to listen to that right and so I'm listening to it and they're they're literally singing to each other like there's one group and then there's another group and I'm just listening to the rhythm of their song right and knowing that yesterday it was rainy and it was nasty and now the sun came up today and they were just like so happy and joyous and live like that live like that when you wake up in the morning stop with with all the negativity and the thoughts of the past and the thoughts of what's going wrong and what's not working and how hard things are and how heavy things are and who did what to you like let that shit go just let it go and wake up and see the beauty in everything in the world see the beauty when I walk My dog, I call it like my gratitude walk, right? I walk her, my phone is home, my head is up. I thankfully live in an amazing neighborhood where there's just trees and just everything everywhere. And I pick my head up and I look around and I'm, thank you, thank you for this, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the things that are working. Thank you for the things that are not working, that are teaching me things, right? When we're thankful for the things that are difficult, the universe and God takes note and says, wow. Look at this, my child, my, my, my human here, that even though I've given turmoil and tribulation, she's still thankful for that because she sees the growth that it's giving. She sees the expansion that it's allowing. She sees the changes that are happening within her because of that. I'm going to make it easier for her to get through this, right? There's going to be a shift rather than why me? Why is this happening? Oh my God, what's going to happen? Again, fear, ego, Ego and fear are like best friends, okay? So when you're having fear, when you're having anxiety, when you're having worries, you gotta you gotta shift, you gotta connect more to God. So so that's it, because my phone is probably gonna die soon. If you just hopped on, you can go back to the beginning and start again. Christina, Spira, hello, Sharice. I'm gonna go back and read a few things here. I know Anita said something. Yes, the book is such a gift. Again, if you're just hopping on. Again, watch it from the beginning, but um, The Power of Intention talked a little bit about this book. Um, This has really been opening my eyes. I've been really messing it up with lots of highlighting and circling and and all that good stuff. Mark, sorry, I don't know how the laughing emoji came up. No worries. I, I was talking about something serious, and I saw, I think I saw it, and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess he thinks I'm funny. <laughs> but... But that's it, all right? So go back, watch the replay. Let me know what you think. Let me know what God is to you. And and if you think you're living more through ego than you are of God, because right now you should have sort of a better and clearer idea if you've listened to this of, of what it, what kind of thoughts are associated with ego and what kind of thoughts are associated with source. And just know that when you're walking with source and you're walking with God and you're walking, and again, this is not a religious thing, okay? This is This is... In everybody, no matter what you believe, no matter who you believe in, no matter what book that you're reading, no matter what you follow, no matter priests and pastors and this and that, doesn't matter. I'm talking about, boom, your one-on-one connection with whatever it is that is between everything, right? That is here, that makes shit happen, okay? That that energy is within you, right? If you are here, if you're alive, if you're here for another day, then God thinks that you can do more. God believes that you can do more. God knows that you are here for a reason. So positive thoughts, healthy thoughts, love towards others, kindness towards others, creativity, knowing that there is unlimited abundance, knowing that everything is is here for you, your happiness, your joy, your your abundance, your everything is at your fingertips, okay? Dr. Weir, Dyer is smiling down at you for sharing his very important teachings. Thanks, Anita. And, and that's sort of what, you know, he's always said is that, like, he doesn't write his books. He doesn't do his lectures. Like, like Spirit just kind of spoke through him because he was this voice for everyone to hear that. And when I think about my journey and I think about how far I've come and, and the experiences that I've had and all the things that I've been through life and, and hasn't, wasn't always easy and, and look at myself at who I am now, right? And it's okay, right? We need to do this. Like I do this, like, man, I'm proud of myself of the things that I've been through and becoming who I've become, right? I have such a, a story behind me as you have behind you, right? And it's okay to look at your past and to look back at that and say, wow, I've come a long way. It's not conceited. It's not a, it's actually very good for you to do that often, right? And so 
I think about that and I think about these live videos and I think about people that I work with and I think about workshops and all the things and, and, and just all the things that I'm doing and growing and everything that's happening and moving so much forward and I'm like there that's God speaking through me as well right whatever it is that I bring to you whether it touches one person or it touches a hundred that's why I always tell you share this get it out because you don't know who needs to hear it Dr. Wayne Dyer did the same thing, right? He was here and, and he served his purpose and he served what he was supposed to do. And he also educated himself. He read so much that that it came, it just came to him and he was guided towards those things. And so if you start to do that and you start to look, you will find, right? So I truly believe we're all here for a reason. It's our job to uncover why. Absolutely. Absolutely. If we're if you woke up this morning and you're alive and you're on here or you're on Facebook or whatever it is. You still got some work to do. End of story. And I can guarantee you it's something that serves. It doesn't have to be what I do or what Jane does or what Bob does or Tim does or whatever. Everybody has this this little thing. And so, you know, that's part of the ego too. And we compare and we look at other people like, well, I can never do what he does or what she does. You're right. You couldn't because you're not them. You have a different purpose. You have a different lifestyle. You have a different perspective. You have a different idea. So finding that purpose, and, and he has a whole chapter on that, finding that purpose is understanding that you don't really have to find that purpose, that you just really have to live your life the best that you can live and, 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 and do the things that you love and do the things that you enjoy and do the things that bring you pleasure. And then from there, your purpose will really start to unfold, right? When you're, you're leaning more towards a life of joy and happiness and, and doing the things that you love. And, and I always stress that, like your time is precious. So like stop spending it watching TV. Stop spending it, you know, scrolling face, like scrolling, scrolling Facebook. Stop spending it on Instagram for three hours. Like stop watching, you know, videos that are, that are not getting you better. Like use your time wisely so that you can grow and so that things can improve, okay? And, and watch what you're watching and, and be mindful full of what you let into your mind and, and into your head and be be aware of that right be aware of that so so that's it okay I like I said playing around with the time based on my schedule and stuff I have some changes that happen um still went to 45 minutes oh well well my phone lasted which is good shoo shoo stop jeez she is just like crazy tonight all right so hi fania my love my soul sister her and i have been getting up very early texting each other keeping each other motivated so i'm actually finishing up my loves so just go back to the beginning and replay yes replay replay all right and you are a huge inspiration to me fania is just talk about connected to spirit and god I don't think it gets any better than Fania manifesting like crazy. All right. So I love you. Love you all. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Have a good night. Bye.